Hey, this is TR from T-Man Performance. I wanted to do a follow-up video on uh, the video that we did post over the holiday weekends regarding the uh, M8 valve seat issues that we are seeing. So we had a lot of good comments, a lot of off-the-wall comments, and then uh, one particular comment that I took a little bit of offense to that I will address at the end of this uh, video. But So what we want to do is I want to go through this whole step to let you guys know what we did before we basically even posted that to make sure that we had had all of our ducks in a row. So what we did is we were noticing this on our big bore kits when we were putting the heads back on. We make it a standard practice when the heads go back on with new rings to put the heads on, torque them, and leak the motor down to make sure that we have no issues. That's when we were seeing the 25 to 28 percent leak down. The one thing that I want to make perfectly clear, this was not going past the rings, you know, and that, that was one of the bigger comments on um, this was coming past the valve and the valve seats, okay? So what we did, uh, there's very few people in the industry that I, you know, will bounce ideas off of. Uh, a good friend of mine, Greg Dahl from GMS Racing, you know, I spoke to him and I said, hey, how can I basically figure out a way to basically uh, leak these things down and make this so people will truly see that this is a, not us making this up. So he come up with the idea to make a fixture so that we could pressurize the port from the outside, So, which I thought was a very good idea. So I'm going to kind of show you what we do here. So first thing I want you guys to understand that we have lapped these valves into the valve seats, the valves to the valve seats, and we've put a heavier spring on the back side that way so when you see this you'll understand that this is not it leaking past the valve seat okay so what we did I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid here on it here just like you see right here we take a leak down gauge and basically what we're doing is just adding about 20 well right there's 12 pounds and as you can see it's starting to bubble uh, this is not around the valve seat. This is the outer part of the between the head and the uh, seat itself. So you can kind of see here where we're what we what we ran into. That's with 10 pounds. So you got to keep in mind when you do a leak down test, you're putting 100 pounds of air in the in the uh, chamber. So anyway, so after we determined that was the issue, what we did is we started to weld the seats out of the heads. That's how we get the, our heads out. We'll run a little bead around them and knock them out. And what we have determined that this whole issue that we're seeing is not a machining issue. This issue is, is coming when the seats are being installed in the head. And as you can see right here, this head is, is one of the worst. You can see the chamfer right here that we basically uh, uh, identified in our first video. You have it here. You can barely see it right in here on this short corner and then on this head it's very obvious right here okay so what is happening is when the seats are either pressed in or knocked in I'm not sure how Harley Davidson does that so it, it, we have done this ourselves and had to take seats out and redo them what happens is you'll get the seat in and, and as you start to knock it in it cocks on that original installation and what it does it takes that material and and then basically just scores that bore all the way to the bottom of the seat hole. And as you can see right here, uh, it's, it will be hard to see with the camera. We will follow up with pictures uh, on our after this video. You can see right here that there is material built up underneath that seat area. Here, uh, especially on this head and on this head. So this head here is one of the four sets that we have on the agenda for next week and all four seat holes in it were perfect. So we will show you the difference. But what I, and then the other thing that we did, so at that time we come in and this is, the, this is how we measure our press fit on our seats. We don't do this with a yardstick or anything like that. We put the, the uh, mic, inside micrometer in here and we mic this hole this way. These areas here were where the seat was not damaged. And then we measured it, you know, the three and a nine o'clock position where it had the scoring clear to the bottom. What we've seen on an average is about two and a half to three thousandths of variation in the OD of that seat. And then that material ends up on the bottom. That is what cocks the seat and allows for it 
to be leaked underneath. So what that, what that means is the seat does not have a complete press all the way around it. So that's where we're seeing this problem. So I wanted to kind of let you guys know the effort that we did go through before we ever posted that. This was not just one set of heads. This is the four that we are running off three this week plus the twin cam heads that we do. As a cylinder head company, we do anywhere from six to seven sets of heads a week uh, and ship them all over the country. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what we are running into. Know that this is no way, shape, or form of us bad-mouthing the motor company, our dealers, or the consumer. In finishing this up, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, in all new models, there is problems. I'm sure that Harley-Davidson will address this. So please don't think of this as the comments about the motors being junk. It's all, it, that's all out of line. Let's just stay focused and fix this problem. What we've done here is we feel that we have given you the knowledge of the problem. We have showed you how to check it. We have offered you a fix. That's all that I can do as a cylinder head company. And I hope that you will appreciate us for that. So uh, thank you again for your uh, time. And uh, this will be the last time that I do um, comment on this subject. And the pictures will follow so that you can get a better uh, understanding of what you see. So thank you very much. Here are the photos TR promised in the video. The first three shots show the area in question. These are on three different jobs currently in-house. This photo shows what the seat bores should look like after seats are removed. Here are the tools needed to perform a proper leak down test. Shown is a snap-on leak down gauge. However, there are other brands you can use and pick up at your local automotive parts store. Make sure your gauge comes with a hose with a 10 millimeter end to screw into the M8 head. The crank lockdown tool, part number 3801, 0323 can be purchased from any local shop that is a drag specialties dealer. T-Man Performance strongly suggests having a shop or qualified mechanic perform this service. Valve and piston locations are crucial for this test to be performed properly.